Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to be discovering 10 hidden secrets every Canva designer should know about. Because if you don't know these, then I'm not sure you really know Canva that much. Okay, that's how bad it is. No problem. God will see us. My name is Benjamin. I'm a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. And just in case you are interested in more Canva tutorials, hitting on the subscribe button would actually do you so much good. You get so, it? yes. Let's dive straight into Canva and let's check out the first one. So the first one is called the Modal Photo Editor. And to find it, you simply need to come to Project, first of all, and head on to your images. OK, this is where you find all the images you have uploaded in Canva. To be able to access the Modal Photo Editor, just click on any of your images and this pop up should show up. That is the photo editor. OK, and this is only for editing photos. So everything you need to edit your photos can be found here. OK, so I can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness i can contrast and do all the funny things i would like to do even to change colors using the color edits you know it's something we can actually do and uh, one more thing i want us to do before we save this image is adding a filter okay so this is what we want assuming okay i think it looks uh not good okay <laughs> anyway so once we are done what we can do is we can save our design and we have two options to save it to Canva or to download it. OK, so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to click on save to Canva, but you can actually download it if you want. All right. And everything should work perfectly. So this is how the modal photo editor works. And that's how to even find it in Canva. The second one is the version history because there are times where you get to make changes to a particular design over time and we want to revisit the old versions of that particular design. So the question is, how do you get to locate that in Canva? It's actually very easy and it's one of the hidden secrets in Canva. Let me just come here and I'll open any of my designs. Okay, so let's assume with this design if i want to recover some old designs or changes i made to this design what i can simply do is i can come to file okay once i come to file i have to head on to version history and you can see all the history or the changes i've done to this particular design can be found here you know way back up to 31st august 2024 which is very very far okay so if i click and say i want this we can see all the designs or the version of this particular design can be found in here okay and there are two options would i want to restore this so that it just overwrites everything i have right now or i want to make a copy if i choose make a copy we all know what canva does it would make a copy of the design but what you would see is this version of your design and i hope that actually makes a lot of sense to you okay so let me just choose make a copy because i don't want to overwrite everything all right and we can see canva has just made a copy for us and now we have all the old designs we've made on this particular project okay and that's how to recover old designs using version history and aside version history there are times where you've made an edit to a particular element or photo in your design and you want to apply the same edit to another element or a new photo you've added in your design but you don't want to go through the whole stress of you know redoing everything how can you do this easily there's one hidden secret in canva called the copy style piece style feature in canva okay which works like magic so let me just show you how it works so we'll first of all want to copy the edit of the shape okay so i'm going to add a new shape and we can see it's a black shape if i want to achieve the same edits i have here what i have to do is you know add a corner rounding change the color add the border it's a long process what I can simply do is to right click and choose copy style. Then I can come here and choose paste and we can see very easy and very simple. We have this feature here in Canva and this can be applied to photos and even graphics when you are designing in Canva. So it's actually very, very easy. All right. And let's even try with an image. OK, so I just simply create a new page over here and we'll just add any image of my choice. OK, so we can come here and let's do something simple maybe let's add some blur okay so come to hold image and increase the blur and this is what we want if i add another image or even the same image and i want to apply the same feature instead of going to edit and doing all of that i can just right click copy style 
and click and you can see we've achieved the same edits we have on this photo we've been able to apply them here and that's how to do it inside of Canva. i hope this is very easy and very simple to follow so how about the case where you are designing with other team members and you know you don't want them to be moving some elements around in this case canva gives you the option to lock the element but what if i told you you can only lock the position of the element in canva okay there's something you can do so that we can only edit but not move the element around let me show you how you can do this in canva all right so for this particular design i can right click and come to lock okay and i can choose lock positions only okay once i choose lock positions only what happens is that i can't move this around but i can edit the text in here so i can say new text here okay and this is very simple and it makes it easy when you're working with team members so they don't mess up your design so you can just look the positions and all they can just do is to edit the text okay you know so that is how that works inside of canva another cool feature you should be using a lot of times when you're working with team members so there was an instance where i was designing something in canva i actually made a full design in canva and what i just needed to do was to download certain elements i had in my design but most of the time you have to create a new page and paste the element there before you can download that element alone but what if i told you you don't have to do that anymore canva has this hidden feature that can help you achieve that easily so i can just click on this and maybe let's say if there are two elements i want to download and maybe this image okay once i right click i have the option to download the selection okay so if i click on this download selection what it allows me to do is to download only these two things i've selected in my design all right so i can just click on download and the selections should download the only thing about this feature is you can't download just one item in your design it has to be two items in your design so it can be two or more so if you want to add a third one we can do that over here so you can see we have the download selection in here okay so that's how this feature works did you actually know this feature just look honestly speak the truth did you actually know this feature in canva i'm sure you didn't i'm really sure you didn't <laughs> anyway so let's move on to the next hidden feature you should know when it comes to canva have you ever been in the situation where you wanted to change the perspective of your images to add more depth in your design if you haven't then don't worry but just in case you've been in that situation before there's an app in canva that can help you do that okay so i'm just going to show you how you can reshape any photo or any element inside of canva first of all click on your image and make sure you're coming into apps okay and search for reshape once you type reshape or you search for it you should see this interesting app in here okay once the app is loaded we have all of these options in here so you can choose the thoughts let's use that for an example so you can basically just move the points okay so if we want it to be like this we can just move the point and this is what we have once we click on save it gets to be saved how you've edited it okay let me just remove the outline so you can see what we have at the moment so this is how to reshape any element you have especially with photos inside of canva and how about after you've changed the perspective of your photo inside of canva you want to be able to edit certain sections or adjust certain sections of the photo without making it affect the entire photo how can you do this in canva so let me just show you quickly what i'll do is first of all i'll just create a new page and add a photo okay so go inside photos and just choose any photo of your choice so this is an interesting photo we can use even though christmas is you know is way gone then we'll just click on edit in edit come to adjust okay and over here we have select area all right so there are three options whole image foreground and background so if i want to just edit the foreground which is this particular part of the image the subject in here with the parcels i can choose foreground canva would analyze the image and now anything i do would only be affected to the subject of our image okay so that's how to go about it do you get it and if i change it to background i can now change the saturation and make it black and white just to make the subject you know stand out so but now that you know this you can create so many interesting photo edits in canva without you know struggling at all at all at all at all at all at all
I've said, I've said. So what if after we've edited this image, we want to move this image from the page it's on to another page somewhere, but we don't want to do copy and paste because copy and paste can sometimes be stressful, you know? So what we can simply do is first of all, click on your image, okay? And make sure you are switching to the thumbnail view. If you have the scroll view, which is this one, you can actually do what I'm about to show you. So what you have to do is to come down here and choose the thumbnail view where you have all the designs you've created. So select the image you have and just search for the page you want to move it to. Okay, so let's assume we want to move it to page 36, which is somewhere here. Okay, all I have to do is to click and move it there and page 36 just comes up and I can just place my image here. Very easy and very simple. Instead of doing this whole copy and looking for the page you want to paste it on before you can now paste your image, this is very, very easy. You know, you don't have to struggle anymore. And I bet you didn't know. If you knew, let me know in the comment section below. And last but not the least, I'm going to show you a feature in Canva that can help you to transform any photo into SVG. This can even be logos that you received as PNG files and um, you can transform them into SVGs. In Canva, when you have a file as SVG, it means you can be able to customize the colors. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that, okay? So back inside of Canva, I'm just going to go into my brand and just choose this image. Okay, so let's say I want to change certain aspect of this color. So we will come into apps, okay, and just search for and just search for tracer. Okay. So once you search for tracer, you should find it over here. And we have this in here. So what we can simply do is there are two options, first of all. Okay, we have the black and white and the full color. So let's try with the black and white first. So we can do trace image and it should load beautifully for us. So let's see what Canva can create. All right, so you can see what it has over here. The threshold, we can increase it or reduce it. Okay, this helps us to get more details on the amount of color we can change. Okay, so if I increase and do add to design, this is what we have, okay? And you can see when we come in here, we can basically change the color, okay? And only the outline has been changed for us. But what if we want more stuff to be changed, okay? We can come back into the tracer, okay? And let's increase it to 255 to see what we can actually achieve. All right, so let me do add to design. You can see what we got here is black, but if we are to reduce it a little bit, we should be able to get just the logo itself. Okay, so let this load quickly and let's see what I uh -huh. So you can see, then we can now click to add to design and we can even make this white. Okay, and you can see very easy and very simple, which is a new African geek logo. So let's try with the full color and let's see how that works as well. So we can come to trace and it should load beautifully for us. All right. And this is what we have over here. So we have the auto color numbers. If you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. So automatic color numbers, we want two colors. Okay. So two colors and it should load beautifully for us. But if you want, you can just take it so that the app gets to analyze a number of colors in the photo okay but i want to choose manual now that we are done we can do add to sign and this is what we have sorry this is it so you can see we have two options so if i change this to green it changes to green so i can do black and maybe red and you can see how we've been able to customize this beautifully inside of canva so i hope you found this helpful how many of these features did you know inside of canva just let me know in the comment section below you can list them out and i'll be glad to read them and to reply to your comments your name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace